Only two minutes to race the science chick, and this is the Cumberland demonstration of Doppler effect. <laughs> I didn't need the sound effects, thank you, Adrian. But they were awesome. <laughs> How was that? Adrian is eating ramen in my shot. God, my writing is horrible. Well, if, you, if, it's, if it's negative, then you're going, then you're going away. But if it's positive, or no, if it's negative, then you're approaching. And then if you're yes, yeah. So, uh, and then yeah, speed of so that's speed of sound. That's speed of the object. Speed of sound is speed of sound equals uh, six point zero point six <laughs> meters per second. Yeah, and then you're timesing, like, you're multiplying it by the temperature. Stop saying timesing! <laughs> timesing! I God, timesing. I'm going to injure you! I'm doing it's multiplying! I'm doing unscripted science, and now this is unscripted math, so this is even worse than unscripted science. Also, addition and subtraction are the same thing. No, they aren't. Yes, they Only are! Only if you're adding Subtraction minus... is the addition of, of a negative, negative number! number. Exactly, so it doesn't say, yes, the addition of a negative number is not the same okay, as the addition of a positive thing. number. Here's the thing, speed of the exist. object. No, because it's a negative number. Adrian, so? Adrian, Adrian, it's speed, a number. Adrian, speed is a scalar. It cannot be negative. I'm arguing about math. I know, but uh, this is in terms of science, therefore I'm right. <laughs> what I just said was we have to find out how much that is in meters per second, so velocity of the object, speed of the object, actually, because there's no vector hat thingy. So it's speed, so it's because it's a scalar. Thingy. Vector <laughs> hat thingy! That's what it's called, that's the biggest term. This thingy! Except for it's not, because direction in this case doesn't matter. So I can go 12 kilometers an hour. You times it by 2.6 to begin with. Multiply it! In science we times. Oh god. In, in, in science we times. In science we times. In this video hey, is basically hey, just going to be us arguing cool. about stuff. <sighs> so I can go 3.33 repeating meters per second on a skateboard. So now we just gotta calculate well, you know that. Well, you know how put those repeating things in science, you run up to sig digs. I know. Well, Adrian's arguing for math, you're arguing for science, I'm not sure which side I'm on. Julie's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I look adorable today. <laughs> Alright, so speed of sound is affected by temperature. So using this equation, we'll find out how fast the speed of sound is and with the current temperature. That's a backward S. <laughs> T equals. What does T equal? What did I say? 14.1? I'll ask you to. I'll, 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 I'll give you. So that is our speed of sound. No. And A is well, 400 hertz, isn't it? Oh. Why don't we just um, look it up? We'll frame alpha that shit. We could uh -huh. do that. Or we could just assume that it's 400 hertz. And be wrong. And, uh. And 96.116. Hertz. That's what it's gonna. That's what you're gonna hear as I'm going by. That doesn't really seem like it's gonna be significant enough to be able to hear it, but we're gonna try because this is science. <laughs> then let's go do some science. Now I know what you're thinking. Ruby Rick Jones, why aren't you wearing any protective equipment? You're about to go skateboarding. Fear not, fair peasants of YouTube. I'm wearing knee pads. That's what it sounds like normally. Did you experience some Doppler effect? Do it, Agent! <laughs> Ray! Ray! Fire! Into the bushes! Ray! Fire! Here we see the Rebby Riggs in a natural environment. Spot the Rebby Riggs. Uh, Are you filming them? Yes. <laughs> ah, nature! I saw it just say labs. Remy! Remy! It's hyphenated. It's Remy or Riggs. Remy. Riggs. It's short. So this is what I fell in. That is what jabbed into my knee just now. I would run.